Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, we are going to be doing an energy update and check-in for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and get started today by shuffling the traditional tarot cards. So what messages can I pull through for all of the beautiful souls tuned into today's reading? Right away, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. So I'm hearing losing control, someone feeling as though they're losing control, maybe over you, maybe over some kind of a situation. Now, of course, whenever it comes to these energies, this could apply to you internally. So maybe you are experiencing this loss of control or you feel as though there was some kind of missed opportunity in your own life. But, wow, there's major thunder in the background as of when I'm recording this. That definitely feels like a really powerful sign for someone. So maybe someone's life has felt stormy or felt chaotic in some way. Now, of course, this could be your energy personally, but this could also be someone connected to you. So always take these messages only how or if they do resonate with you in a personal and intuitive way. I have the three of cups in the reverse position here as well. So this can represent gossip. Whoever here is feeling out of control or as though they missed some kind of opportunity might be very focused on other people externally or cross comparing themselves to other people. So this could be someone who's been speaking about you or focused on you, comparing themselves to you in some way. And here we have the Ace of Wands in the upright position. So I really feel like this is your energy. I'm seeing someone carrying a torch and it's almost as though you are that one carrying a torch for the collective. You are leading the way into higher levels of consciousness. And I'm strongly getting the word creativity. So however you're leading the way here, so to speak, you may be doing this through being creative. Now, for some reason, I saw like a scroll or someone writing on like a piece of parchment or one of those like ancient pieces of paper. And this also reminded me of the strategy card from the energy oracle because it has a similar image on that card. And I always associate that card with soul contracts. So there might be something written into your soul contract in a sense that's being activated at this time. You know, I thought about pausing the video just because it's raining and storming so hard outside, but I feel like it actually adds a little bit of ambiance to the video, so I'm just going to keep recording here. I don't believe in coincidences or accidents, so maybe there's a reason that we're recording right in the middle of this really stormy, literal, physical scenario. But anyway... I want to know more about, first of all, let's talk about how you're carrying the torch here collectively, what you are creating or doing that is so inspiring to others. And first of all, we have the tower card. So I'm hearing that you had to go through a very intense tower moment in your life for the purpose of being able to lead the way for others or show the way for others. There's some kind of dark night of the soul that you went through that 
looked very messy on the surface. For some reason, I heard something about the number six. So this could be a relevant number for someone, but it also could repre represent six weeks, six months, six years. It may have been six years ago that you went through this, or maybe it was a six year cycle. But anyway, I'm seeing that you went through this for the purpose of being activated in such a way that you could show the pathway to others. But the thing is, at this moment, many people in the collective are going through a very similar tower moment. I heard loss of identity that you went through several years ago. I'm getting for most listening. Maybe this was months, but for many, I'm getting this was actually years ago that you went through this so-called loss of identity which really isn't a loss of identity, it's losing your ego-based identity so that it creates space for your true soul's identity to be revealed. That's what I'm getting really strongly here. And I feel like many people, either physically around you or people who might be connected to you in the quantum, so energetically or soul bonded to you in some way, are now going through these types of tower moments, these types of loss of identity that you went through and you're meant to be a guide or a teacher. I'm seeing something about fire. This could represent fire sign energy. So maybe someone has that in their birth chart, but this could also represent twin flames. So maybe you consider yourself to be on a twin flame path. Of course, that won't necessarily be for everyone here. Now I do see that for you, things are really beginning to pick up momentum. So what I'm really getting from this is that the tower moment you went through, all of the work that you've been putting into yourself, all of the energy and time that you've been investing into yourself or into some new idea is really beginning to build momentum and pay off in some kind of way that I'm hearing maybe inspiring you to action or is going to look very visible in the physical world. So now let's talk more about the new terms of your soul contract being activated. Okay, we have a king of wands. So it may actually be a person, another soul that you share a soul contract with. And this is either someone completely new and your contract with them is now being activated for the first time. Or this is someone from your past, but there are new terms of your soul contract being activated with that same person. So I'm going to start reshuffling the cards here, but I am getting that for many of you listening, you are resonating more so with the divine feminine energy. So I most likely will be putting that label divine feminine in the title of the video, just so you can find it more easily. But I'm also getting that this person you're connecting with, who you have some kind of soul contract with, is most likely a masculine or divine masculine here. So who is this king of wands? Interesting. We've been talking about storms and we actually have the storm warning card here in the upright position. So the first thing I'm getting about this connection is it doesn't come in lightly. This is a connection that seems to really shake up your world. It's almost like a symbolic earthquake or something in your life. I'm seeing cracks just like how an earthquake earthquake can create cracks in the earth it's almost like you crack something open for this person or they do that for you or maybe it's mutual that's kind of the effect that you have on each other so what is being cracked open here adjacent possibilities in the reverse position so this could have to do with collapsing out old timelines. Maybe this is someone who 
helps you to really fully shut a door on something or someone in your past or really reveals to you that it's time to leave a past timeline, a past relationship, situation, something in your life to just fully shut a door. But I'm getting that if that is the case for those who this is connecting in that way with, I'm strongly picking up that you intuitively already sensed that it was time to close that door interesting this may also represent exclusivity so one or the other of you or again maybe both of you really desiring for this to be exclusive it's like this person just comes in and suddenly you lose interest in all your other options if you do have other current dating options or maybe that's what you do for this person. Like you make them want to just close the door on anyone else that's in their life or was in their life romantically because no one's motivated them in the way that you do with all tied up reversed. I almost feel as though the way that this masculine energy seems to recognize the soul bond between the two of you dominantly of course there's many ways that they could be recognizing this soul connection but dominantly they're recognizing it because you shake something up within them that actually motivates them into action and makes them want to close off any other potential options and that's what's so different to them about this connection i saw a mailbox so maybe there are letters being exchanged or a mailbox is significant to someone listening here. This is someone who feels the connection with you in their soul because we also have the crown chakra here in the reverse position. But how that soul knowing is actually manifesting in their human conscious mind is as anxiety because we have the anxiety card. So it's almost like this is a masculine energy who is very established in the physical world. This is someone who may be a leader financially in the workplace. They may, I'm hearing, have things figured out to some degree or feel like they do in the physical world. However, the way that you affect them spiritually, they can't really wrap their mind around. Spiritually, I feel this person may have been a bit closed off. And so it's almost creating anxiety within them because they don't really know where to place these feelings that they have for you that are much deeper than just feelings. Again, this is like a spiritual experience for this person that is motivating them and pushing them in a new direction in life and into different actions that this way that you're affecting them is so different from how any other feminine energy has affected them. I'm also just getting this resounding yes kind of energy. I know that that is so random, but for someone here listening, maybe you've been asking a question to the universe or wondering something about this person. So your answer to that question might be yes. This might be some kind of sign of confirmation from your intuition. It's interesting because we have the solar plexus chakra, but also the yin yang card in the reverse position. So the yin yang card is my number one twin flame card in the deck. It's very possible that this is a twin flame situation, although that doesn't have to be the case. And only you can know for you whether or not this is a twin flame. But with this solar plexus card, I'm getting that. I'm hearing that this masculine has had a lot of confidence in their physical self, like in their ego self. I'm actually almost getting this like overpowering solar plexus chakra energy of course when any chakra center is overpowering it can actually throw other chakras out of balance and so it's almost like this masculine has built up so much solar plexus energy that it's almost crowding out their heart and crowding out 
their spiritual divine self, their intuition, because they've been so overly confident in their physical human identity that they forgot that they're a soul embodied here on earth. This may be what you've come in and really shook up for them on a deep level, but it's such a subtle process because even though you've shaken up their world, they're not conscious of exactly what's going on. All they know is how it's affecting them, if that makes sense. They know that since you've entered their life, they don't want to connect with anyone else. They want to close those other doors. You push them into action in a way no other feminine has in the past. And you also seem to bring out this side of them that is overthinking things a lot between the two of you, which also seems very out of character for this person. But they don't really know how to label that or how to conceptualize that. Whereas I feel that you, Divine Feminine, are more so coming up as the Empress. It's almost like you're in this relaxed stance, kind of watching what this masculine is going through. Now, you might literally be watching them, like interacting with them, or your soul is watching them because in the 5D, the two of you are connected. You have this awareness of this shakeup that's happening in their world. And it's like you have this silent knowing where you do know what's going on here, but you also recognize that this person's human self may only be ready for so much information. So when you're around them, you might catch yourself not sharing certain pieces of information that you know about the spiritual nature of your connection with them because you've really developed this truly intuitive ability that I feel has been sharpened a lot recently around really being able to read someone's energy and to understand where they're at on their spiritual journey, how open their mind is to spiritual things and to adjust your level of sharing accordingly. Now, of course, you're always in your energy of truth, but truth has levels and layers. So I feel you have this gift of being able to reveal to others the truth that they're ready for and to intuitively sense what they're not ready for, if that makes sense. This is a very, very specific reading. So I feel I'm probably speaking directly to a very particular divine feminine here. So I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle and I want to go a bit deeper into the connection between you and this masculine. But first, I also want to share with you my personal most powerful tool for shifting my mindset, aligning my energy and manifesting in my own life. And these are subliminals. Subliminals are audio meditations and they contain unconscious spoken affirmations. This is why subliminals are so powerful because unlike traditional spoken affirmations that are much more conscious and targeted to the conscious levels of the mind, subliminals are specifically targeted to the subconscious mind, which actually controls 95% or more of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. So essentially, when we use subliminals to reprogram the tracks that are playing on autopilot in our subconscious mind, it's like this fast track backdoor to shifting our entire aura, our entire energetic signature, aligning with our desired frequency and manifesting from that place. So I've become so passionate about subliminals, just seeing how they've so profoundly helped me transform my life in the last several years that I've created my very own subliminals app. This app is called Sound and Soulful, and it's now available in both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. So as you can see on the screen, on this app, I have over 130 subliminals for essentially every area of life. So there are subliminals for mood, mindset, manifestation, money, success, specific material manifestations, energy clearing, twin flames, love and relationships, and so much more. 
Now, specifically for this reading, I would really recommend two subliminals. The first one is love magnetism in the love and relationships category. This is one I use every single day because it is so powerful for clearing your energy reprogramming each of your seven chakra centers to help you become more magnetic when it comes to attracting love and positive attention, not just romantically, but also in work, in business, in life generally. This will really help you to align with that frequency of unconditional love, which is just so powerful. And the second subliminal is the awakened divine feminine. So this is for those of you who specifically connect here as a divine feminine being, and this will help you to activate your inner goddess energy to manifest from that powerful but effortless flow state that is really the trademark of the divine feminine and to really align yourself with your true essence, true beauty, true dreams and goals in life. So the link to download the Sound and Soulful app and sign up for a seven day free trial account to try out either these two subliminals or any in my virtual library. You can click the link in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. Okay, so what else can I channel about this King of Wands? So we have the card control, which is interesting because this really seems to connect with the beginning of this reading when I said that it seemed like someone felt as though they're losing control. So now it's coming into clearer focus. And as we've been tapping into these energies together, it's becoming clear that this masculine is the one who felt as though they were losing control. And with hesitation reversed, I feel part of why they feel this loss of control is because they can't control the fact that they want to jump in head first with you. They don't want to hesitate even when their logical mind, their controlling mind would be trying to tell them to hesitate. We also have the card beliefs. What beliefs does this masculine have? outcome. Okay. So they seem to have a limiting belief about the outcome between the two of you. I feel as though this is someone a bit pessimistic about the potential outcome here. Maybe they feel as though they're not sure whether the two of you can make things work or end up together. I feel like there might be something logistical that I'm hearing is creating space, distance, or separation in the 3D. So only you can know what that is for you. This might be your circumstances, differences in your lives. Maybe this is geographically, there's an actual distance here. And also on top of this, Something about this connection is triggering that overinflated solar plexus energy that we would often associate with possibly pride or what we'd call ego. It's triggering that for them because this is someone who questions whether you reciprocate their feelings fully, even if you've responded that you do, even if you've told this person that you care about them or reciprocate feelings or you've shown them, this is someone who finds themselves in that anxious state questioning how you feel about them or how much you care about them. And I'm almost getting the sense of someone just beating themselves up mentally over the way that they're overthinking because again that's very unnatural for this masculine they're not used to having a feminine energy that gets them in their head like this but my guides are correcting me and saying they feel like you're getting them into their head but really you're getting them into their heart you're connecting them back with their heart space and that's really what they're not accustomed to and why they're feeling this loss of control, why they're feeling like you're shaking up their entire world. 
So I am going to go ahead and close this reading here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if I do resonate with you, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post more energy updates, inspiration, and so much more. Of course, if you do feel guided to use the subliminals I've created as a powerful tool to assist you along your journey in reprogramming your mind and manifesting your desires, the link to download my subliminals app, Sound and Soulful, is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Have a beautiful remainder of your day and week, and I will connect with you here again in the next video.